It's late spring and that means that strawberries are in peak season and it also means that I'm in heaven. I mean really. Who doesn't love a strawberry with a little something creamy on top? And even though I could eat this simple treat every single day, I found myself looking for some special new ways to use these beauties now that they are so sweet and abundant. I'm Tracy Metro for The Craft Kitchens. Come on, let me show you what I found. Okay, how would you complete this phrase? Strawberries and. Strawberries and cream, maybe. How about strawberries and spinach? with almonds. I'm not kidding. Here's a salad that uses fresh baby spinach, strawberries and pink grapefruit topped with toasted almonds and balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Now the trick to this salad is actually toasting the almonds. You just spread the almonds in a single layer on a baking sheet. You bake it for 8 to 10 minutes, you give them a stir every once in a while and you're good to go. Balsamic vinegar also adds an extra punch to this strawberry topped appetizer made with cracked pepper and olive oil triscuits that have been spread with reduced fat cream cheese. Now I personally love how the vinegar pumps up the flavor and deepens the color of these strawberries. Now let's say you really do have more berries than you know what to do with. Well, then it's time for the newfangled version of old-fashioned canning. Now, this might sound intimidating for the novice, but have no fear. There's no actual canning involved. Instead, we're using plastic containers that have been rinsed thoroughly in boiling water. So what I have right here is two and a half cups of crushed strawberries and blueberries, combined with four cups of sugar. It has to sit for 10 minutes. Just give it a stir every now and then. In the meantime, I'm going to add my Sure Gel package to three quarters of a cup of water. Now if you don't know what Sure Gel is, it's a fruit pectin that will help thicken the jam. It can be found in the supermarket in the baking aisle. Now this needs to be constantly stirred over heat until it's boiled for one minute. And now that this is finished, I'm going to add it to the fruit and it needs to be stirred constantly for three minutes. And what this is doing is it's dissolving all of the sugar. And there you go. Now all you have to do is fill up your plastic containers to within half an inch of the top before putting it in the freezer. Now you're going to want to wipe off the top if there's anything on there, put the lid on tight, and set it aside for 24 hours at room temperature. And baby, you've got jam like this. It's your own homemade proof that you too are a domestic diva. You can look for these recipes and more creative ideas and tips at Howdini. I'm Tracy Metro for The Craft Kitchens, and I think that I'm ready to throw a strawberry party. Sounds pretty fun, huh?